Thank you for taking time to learn more about GroveSite and for watching this video. In this video, we will walk you through how to add features to your site using the Add Page Wizard. One of the things that sets us apart from others is the fact that in GroveSite, the page structure of your site is not predefined. Instead, we enable you to create a custom site structure by selecting the features and pages you need and by using your own terminology to name each page. You get to do it your way, organizing your site in a way that makes the most sense for your team. This is just one of the capabilities that makes GroveSite so easy for team members to use. GroveSite offers many page types, each one designed to bring you specific functionality. You can mix and match from collaboration suite page types and pre-built or custom databases. Create a customized site with the specific features your team needs. To get started, you will need to be signed into your GroveSite account. Now, let's say you are chairing a committee and need a site to help your members stay organized, access documents, and keep up with their action items. To begin customizing my site, I'm going to delete these few pages that I don't want. Start by clicking Turn on Edit in the top commands. Click the Edit next to any page you want to delete. When the form pops up, just select Delete. The system will now ask you to confirm the delete. Okay, now I have a blank workspace to get started. I'll select the new page link in the left-hand navigation. From here, you will be able to follow the Add Page Wizard. First, you will want to select which page type to add. Let's start by adding a discussion type page. Click Next. I am going to name this page News and Announcements. I chose Discussion on the previous screen because the discussion page type makes it easy for people to post updates. Since this is going to be the first page on my site, my team will land on this page by default when they sign in. For now, I am going to add a simple note into the page text box to let people know how to use the page. I will want to view this page in expanded view so that I can see everyone's comments and posts. Select Next. Now you are able to select the page security. Since I want all my committee members to see and post the page, I am going to select Participants can see and update this page. Then select Next. Now you will choose where in the left hand navigation you want your page to display in the page order. I want this page at the very top of my list. Then click Finish. Now I will continue adding pages to my site. I will add a site members page so that I know who is enrolled in my site and can access their contact information. I will add a calendar so that people in the organization can see events and meetings. Now I want to add a file library page, which I am going to name Agendas, Materials, and Minutes. What's really great about GroveSite is that we can use the same page type multiple times and give the page different titles. I'm going to sort this by most recent first so that the newest files will always be on top. Now that I am starting to add more content to my site, I want to organize my pages. I'm going to add a navigation heading called Meetings to separate my meeting material from other committee materials. I'll add another heading called Ongoing Activities. Under this heading, I will put an Action Items page where we can record our action items from a meeting. I am selecting the Project Plan page type because it includes task tracking, schedules, reports, and alerts. So 
someone is in control of the annual meeting this year, so I am going to add a separate project plan page for them to track their progress and tasks. I will call it Annual Conference Tasks. I should probably add a page for important external contacts for our committee. I will do so by adding a contact management database. And I will name it Important Contacts. I will put this toward the top of the left hand navigation with the other committee material pages. Being able to select features using GroveSite's collaboration suite and pre built or custom databases enables you to create a custom site structure for any business team or group. Take a look at these screenshots of different growth sites. Note the unique left-hand navigation on each. No two are the same. 